After a bit of a pedestrian pace to the start of the game, Canada scored midway in period one. And from there, embattled goalie Mark Visentine led the Canadians to the 4-0 win. He made a couple of highlight reel saves along the way, one of them on a penalty shot. Yeah, the penalty shot, um, I don't know what the ref saw there. Throw my stick kind of, it fell out of my hand to the side of the net, kind of behind the net, so there was really no intention at all there. But uh, it is what it is, and, um, you know, Paul is a good player and made, came down made a good move, and um, I was pretty fired up after the save and had a lot of fun out there. crowd was buzzing, and uh, save in the third period, um, went off my shoulder off the crossbar and I kind of saw in the corner of my eye behind me and just tried to swipe around and catch it and um, I thought at, at first I, I went so far back that I caught it and put it in my own net but uh, when I saw the replay from above and the crowd went nuts I knew right then and there it was, it was all good. But, uh, you know I thought uh, overall looking at the game our best player was uh, Mark Visitine. he played uh, outstanding and made big saves in each period and uh, you know I, I'm really happy for Mark and you know what he's gone through uh, from last year's tournament and uh, you know he uh, he really competed hard and it's a great you know it's great to see Mark uh, play so well today and get the shutout. Now Canada hasn't had a very good record in trying to win bronze medals at this tournament and after the disappointing semi-final loss to Russia Players didn't seem all that eager about embracing the idea, but something changed their minds. I mean, uh, we got some coaches that went through experiences like this. I mean, uh, just listening to Scott Walker and Ron Tugnut, I mean, um, they have regrets uh, almost every day about uh, some of their uh, uh, bronze medal games. And, uh, you know, they had a lot of advice for us. I mean, um, just to keep pushing, and uh, this game will, it really does have a lot of meaning uh, going forward. We didn't want to leave, uh, leave the tournament empty handed, and uh, I think we, we owed it to ourselves. and to the fans of uh, Edmonton and Calgary and, and all of Canada to uh, come out and, and play hard and, and play for uh, play for each other in our country. So, um, again, there's a lot of pride uh, when you throw on that, uh, that jersey. It wasn't easy. Obviously, you want to be playing the gold medal game, but, uh, again, proud of the guys. They uh, they hung in there. Um, it was uh, definitely tough getting up for it, but, again, um, the, the guys played well. Uh, they played hard. Certainly played hard enough to beat a Finnish team that still seemed a little deflated after losing their semifinal to Sweden in the shootout. Kudos, though, to the Canadians, keeping the program of excellence streak alive and reasonably well. This makes it 14 straight years that Canada has won a medal at the World Junior Hockey Championship.